Hello, welcome to this video. Uh, today I'm going to be making a drone library <laughs> in contact out of my refrigerator. I'm using a Zoom H6 and a LOM Geophone. The fridge is currently cycling, so it's rumbling. Let's get some good sounds. cool how on the side of the fridge down here the microphone was picking up more of a clear signal but then up towards the top in the freezer area on the front of it it's a little bit more distorted which I think that's kind of interesting So let's just jump on over to the desk here. I have a Cubase session loaded up with just the recording that I did on the Zoom of the fridge. Uh, I have my Cubase session open in 96 kilohertz because that's what I recorded to. So I'm working in 96 kilohertz with these samples. Uh, let's just jump through and get like a little clip of each one. Okay, there's that first one. There's the second one that I thought sounded a little more distorted. This one's got a little bit more full sound. This one has more of like a distinguishable note to it. This one's got some, some distortion going on. This one has a really low sub harmonic. That one's just weird. This one sounds like it has a little extra, like, grumble in the background. And this is just me handling the microphone, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's jump in. Let's just start with the first sample here. Let's try to see if we can turn this into a pad. I want to make a pad, a bass sound, and then kind of like a higher, higher pitched sort of lead tone thing so we're gonna do a pad let's kind of just take off the high and the low trim out that little bit even though it's texture and I like texture you can hear me talking and recording that clip <laughs> You know what? Let's go in favor of texture. Let's just let's do that. Let's leave that the way that it is. Come back over here. We got a sample. Let's go to 20 bars. Let's call it 20 bar long sample. Export. I don't think there's anything else that I want to do to this. It's a drone. I'm not going to be too concerned about what key it's in. Fridge drone one. Sometimes people are concerned about the key that the drone is in. I'm making the choice to not be obsessed about that. <laughs> so here is our fridge drone right there and contact will automatically spread it out over the other keys so there's that I like adding some amplitude to it so a slower attack and then slower release so it doesn't stop as soon as I take my hand off the key I like it to release a little bit so let's throw some reverb on there. So this will be <laughs> fridge pad. Cool. 
Uh, reverb. Did I do that already? No. Fridge pad. You're going to get some reverb. Not super massive. Although super massive is good, but that's not what I'd like to use here. I like Valhalla Room. actually sounds kind of cool with the whatever I'm messing with in the background there. I kind of want to throw a little bit of distortion in here. So let's go. Let's go stomps. Distortion. I like it, but it's a bit much. So filter that out. either when I play a pad so another thing we can try to do to minimize that sound I'm actually gonna save this because um, I do like it uh, save edited instrument Fridge Drone 1. I'm going to take this original sample and stretch it by double. It's part of the benefit of recording in 96 kilohertz is that you can do stuff like this and it won't sound too wonky. But Now that like textural stuff will sound a little bit different. Fridge drone one stretched. Let's export that. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate this. It's got the reverb on it. Let's throw the attack in there. Crank up the release. It's not quite what I was hoping for, but it's not bad either. So let's save edited instrument. Fridge drone one. Stretched.
but let's load fridge drone one because that one was sounding good Great, so there's our pad. Let's get those other samples up here. This one has more of a sub to it, I thought. here bump the lows back up kind of curb all that that is rattling the house let's put some distortion on it turn that down That's nasty. All right, cool. Uh, and then I'm also going to put it through um, Neural DSP's Omega. Cool. Let's try that. See how that sounds. Fridge, drone, base. Export that. here bump the base up more mute that unmute that That's cool. I mean, that also, I mean, kind of sounds like a, a rocket ship taking off almost. But it sounds really good. Played really low. Make one more. Turn that off. Let's grab that one. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to make two of these. And I'm going to tune one up a fourth, I think.
some of that low end out. They're not exactly the same, but that's fine. Let's export that as fridge drone fourths. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of neat. Same thing as everything else. This will have some really bizarre harmonics, which is fine by me. So I'll mute these original samples. Bring these guys back in. Fridge base. Fridge fourths. Fridge fourths, let's put through uh, some reverb, of course. Great, and then let's just throw a piano in there for some context. Then let's give this a go. There you go. A nice drone library made from my refrigerator. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Spell. You're